that the elements of this same situation have exhibited throughout their life and their surrogate uh, self by throttling internal and external threat. To commemorate the historical diversity of the institution, the school organized a series of events and celebrations unfolding it from 16 July uh, 1942, uh, 2022, which progressed throughout the year. We just had a revelation for Diagnosis last year. Not only that, it was an overwhelming and consequently movement for RMS Bhakti, an IPAC member, to hold the mega event of IPAC Boxing Championship 23 and emerging as winner of the championship, surpassing 1100 registration and IPAC schools. I feel proud to say that besides all these achievements which are highlighted, the school also endorsed its name in the Telegram of World Records, having in the two World Records to its credit. In the University of Excellence, in the show of World Records, which started in this act, in the school, the significant and substantial step towards the gender inequality, providing equal opportunities in the society, and posting at the holistic development of young girls, along with their many counterparts. The presence of Sri Jati Shankar, Honorable Vice President of India, and Dr. Sudesh Shankar, Honorable Secretary of India, was simply an honor to all of us present here, and we all are delighted to have you both at the portal of our episode. Undoubtedly, the day is going to be inscribed in the portal letters of the history and of this same institution. Once again, I would like to welcome Sri Jati Dhankar, the Vice President of India, and Dr. Suresh Dhankar, on the first day, second day of the nation, to bless us with their delight presence here. Good afternoon, all of you. Achanak number a gaya. Ma sohta tha kuch samay lagega. But I will settle down. Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Dr. Prem Chand Bairwa ji. A product of education after facing great difficulties. While working and earning, he had post-graduation, MPhil, PhD, and law. Totally a product of education. Now, to get the responsibility executed as Deputy Chief Minister of Rajasthan, this reflects the changing profile of Bharat. You rise on the strength of your character and education and you are here. This is a big change. You all are harbingers of this great change. Major General R.S. Godara, Chairman Rashtri Military School, Dholpur, Lieutenant Colonel Amit Sharma, Principal Rashtri Military School, Dholpur. We have here Mr. Ravi Sandhu. Yes, Old Boys Association. Am I right? We must recognize his presence. You must get all the old boys together also. They have the enormous capacity and potential to handhold you, and they will know the big change that is coming. Colonel R.K. Shuran, Colonel G.S. Saberia. We are in a hole that is named after one of the greatest icons of the world. Vivekananda. His historic address at Chicago is known to one and all. When he addressed the gathering, global gathering of religious leaders, brothers and sisters, there was thunderous applause in the hall. And what he said was, Arise, awake, and stop, not till the goal is reached. 
this should be your motto you have to be continually striving to achieve your motto i must apologize to all of you i had planned a visit to this great institution and i would say a brother institution or a sister institution because i am from san isco chitorgarh this was to happen in september 2023 on account of inclement weather i could not make it i was destined to make it on this day the nda day a day dear to all of you and a day after the army day both these days are critical for us they motivate us they inspire us and they remind us of our destination my young friends i see a big change when i was in senikul chitorgarh it was open only to girls only boys now we have a school seni school open only to girls that was inaugurated by raksha mantri ji only few weeks back i find there is admission to girls in your school as is there in seni schools also let me tell you importance of your school when i went to my alma mater as vice president i told them jagdeep dankhad was biologically born in village kitana but his but his actual birth was in seni school chitorgarh because seni school shaped me seni school made me what i am and therefore you must ever cherish the time you spend here you must never forget your friends as the years will pass by you will remember them and you will conclude it is a great strength in times to come i remember my days when I, we had a visit of the goc we all were in the whole like you looking at him inspired by him motivated by him and his one word and we were energized inspired i see the same enthusiasm is spread in the soul i have no doubt that you will make most of the lucky environment you have now during our time the challenges were enormous we had great difficulties at home but now you are living in a bharat which is recognized by the world as a global leader as a economic giant whose voice is heard in global matters not inspired or motivated or influenced by anyone else but ex- only by our national interest our bharat is home to one sixth of humanity we are most developed old impactful genuine democracy on the planet no country in the world can claim to have a civilizational depth of more than 5000 years which we have i would therefore with the permission of the rich faculty here invite all the students of dholpur military school to be my guest at the parliament in batches and when you come there your administration will coordinate my administration will also coordinate and that visit to parliament that visit to bharat mandapam will reveal to you where are we in the world today as young boys my category of people used to wonder would we ever have the kind of roads the western world has the kind of airports the kind of railway stations the kind of technology and now the world is stunned what india has not many countries have we are being followed by country like usa uk and singapore our digital transactional mechanism upi has been adopted by a country which is very developed singapore our isro boys and girls is putting in space rockets of us uk and other countries we have come a long way 
So perfect platform has been made available to you. And that platform is that you are lucky to be getting education in one of the best institutions. I wouldn't say India, in the entire world. You look around the campus. When I was coming and I was looking at it, my goodness, I could see several messages written. Those messages are motivational. Those messages indicate our civilizational depth and they tell us what we should be. Your faculty will do everything to shape you, but then you will have to take extra initiatives and those initiatives will make you what you would be. I had the good fortune in Sunny School to be class perfect, then school perfect. That was only on the strength that academically I was brilliant. But I missed out certain things. I was so much obsessed with my rank in the academics that I couldn't give time to other aspects. Now is the time for you to evolve like a plateau. Academic brilliance is one part, sports is another, cultural activities is yet another. There are several facets. Because in general, the school will teach you ethics, high degree of professionalism, discipline and decorum. But knowledge you have to gain for yourself. When I went to Sunny School for the first time, the principal, Colonel Menon, came to our classroom. He came to the classroom riding on a horse. There was a hat. Imagine the surprise element and fear in me. I was above from the village. No electricity, no tap water, no road, nothing. And he asked me, what is the definition of atom? I said, atom is the smallest part of matter. My answer was perfect. But this was not on account of my mind. It was on account of my memory. Because just before he came, the teacher had said, atom is the smallest particle of matter. Colonel carried an impression that I was brilliant. I did not know then ABCD of English. He asked me the next question and I was blank. Third question, I was lost in wilderness. Then he left. There was murmur amongst boys that this student has miserably failed to come up with the expectations. And they had a register of black listing. He will go into that. But look at what the colonel did to me. He called me to his house. He was the principal. I was in Sangha house, as your house is here. That was next to the houses of principal, registrar. And I visited for the first time house. I saw a drawing room I had never seen before. I had never seen the way the tea was served. I was perfectly unsettled. And that man made me what I am today. Within two years, I came to know what is Encyclopedia Britannica, who is Pablo Picasso. He told me, I will read 100 biographies. And he told me, the school has biographies that don't go beyond 30, 40 pages. You have greater advantage now because of technology. You can access knowledge wherever you want. And we are living in times where sky is no longer the limit for Indians. We are beyond sky. Our Chandrayaan 3 has shown it. Our mission to sun has shown it. Earlier we used to look at what USA has done. Our Chandrayaan 3 landed on that part of moon where no other country has been successful. Our Chandrayaan has the imprint of Tiranga and Shiv Shakti Point. For the girls in particular, you could never imagine that Indian parliament will pass a law 
50 percent, one third reservation for girls, women in Lok Sabha and legislatures. It will go up to 50 percent. I'll tell you why. Because reservation is minimum. You can compete in other areas also by contesting election from general categories. So times have really changed. Could you ever imagine that a girl will be a fighter pilot? No. Could we imagine we will be manufacturing Tejas, a helicopter, a Vikrant in our country? We never imagined this a ground reality. So boys and girls, you must really think big. No one could ever imagine earlier the Prime Minister of the country will be Mr. Narendra Modi. He comes from that category which has suffered the most. Or a tribal woman, Draupadi Murmu, is the president of the country. Or a farmer's son, Jagdeep Dankar, will be vice president. Or Dr. Prakash Bairwa will be deputy chief minister of Rajasthan. No one imagined. Because we now have a level playing field. A field where there is no patronage. You don't need a godfather. Times have changed. Everything is transparent and accountable. You would have seen in the village how a mobile is used by everyone. They are using latest technology and therefore have no tension, have no stress. Don't fear failure where you'll be, you'll jump out in the larger world. It is not necessary you'll get what you are trying for. Because he had decided something else for you. So you are talented youth. You are in Amrath Kaal. You are in that Amrath Kaal where the world has seen the spinal strength of Bharat. Where you are seeing that an Indian matters wherever he goes on the planet. You have to take this Bharat to 2047 when Bharat will celebrate centenary of its independence. And that can happen only on the strength of character. And why I say so? Your motto is Shilam Param Bhushanam. Character is the highest virtue. You share your motto with one of the greatest institutions and that is Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration. We have Secretary General of Rajya Sabha, Mr. P.C. Modi, a very senior bureaucrat in the revenue side, had been chairman of the CBDT, product of education. His father was a professional. We have Mr. Rajit Punhami. He could have gone anywhere else. Had his education center students, Management Institute at Bangalore. He chose to serve the nation by getting into the IS. Those who are in the uniform, those who are in our services, they have boys and girls better option of making money. But making money is a one insignificant part of life. Serving your motherland is absolutely necessary. But desire itself is not sufficient. Desire has to be intermixed with accomplishment. You must prove yourself. If you like sports, get involved there. Many have said before me, Sachin Tendulkar may not have been a good hockey player because his aptitude was in cricket. Therefore, go as per your aptitude. I have been telling many boys and girls and those who study geography will know it. A river traverses the land and we find why it is taking these curves. Why can't it be straight? Canal is always straight because canal is made in the office. Canal is made not to serve every point. It takes source water to a destination. Others may not get benefit of it. But a river is very kind. 
created by god wherever it circles the benefit goes you have to have your journey in life as per a river go after your attitude you will benefit maximum yourself and others civilizations have never come around canals they have invariably come around rivers i would also urge you that it is absolutely necessary for you to move to every part of the country north east is a part unknown to us the beauty of north east culture fauna flora wildlife sanctuaries matches best in the world i am sure your administration will take care of it because you are being helped by an organization the presence of that is there in every nook and corner of the country and we all are proud of our money in uniform there are outstanding people i know it out of experience as governor of state of west bengal i had soothing time at fort william and i know the strength so boys and girls take my invitation seriously am i right it has the approval of the faculty but if you delay response to the invitation it loses its fire and flavor so come in batches dholpur is not far off from delhi and trust me when you will see the indian parliament and the building and the culture reflected therein or bharat mandapam where the indian prime minister received global leaders from biden to macron to the south korean president to the australian prime minister to the singapore prime minister everyone say kasina others the backdrop was sun temple konark when the leaders walked through the gallery they saw 5000 years of civilization depth of bharat everyone was wonder struck had one word to say what india has done in g20 perhaps no other nation will be able to match you will have to graduate a little higher when i reflect to you what accomplishments have been there for g20 which have global impact and import so boys and girls it's a great occasion for me i will never forget this moment i will ever cherish it i am creating a bond with all of you and that bond will continue lifelong and i will be happy to interact with you when you visit and interaction is best at lunch or dinner